Hey everybody, welcome to A Game for Your Thoughts. Today we're talking about Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Uncharted Drake's Fortune is the first game in the Uncharted series. It was developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony. The story of Uncharted follows adventure Nathan Drake and his friends Sullivan and Elena Fisher as they make their way across the globe. After Nathan and Elena find their grave of historic adventurer Francis Drake, they find it empty. This leads them on the adventure to find El Dorado, the lost city of gold. But with mercenaries on his back, Nathan must risk his life to find the treasure before they do. Uncharted Drake's Fortune has a fantastic story that is complemented by its amazing characters. The thing that makes Uncharted Drake's Fortune such an amazing experience is the characters of Sully, Elena, and Nathan. They're just so amazingly well written, their humor is right on, and just the characters themselves are really, really interesting and super relatable and really fun to watch and interact with. The story of Uncharted follows basic, not generic, but basic kind of action-adventure stories. There's some treasure that needs to be found, there's someone else looking for it, so they're kind of racing against each other to find it. It is a really interesting formula that I particularly really love. I love Indiana Jones, I love Tomb Raider, I love the action-adventure genre, and so this game is like awesome. It's just a great mix of the action-adventure, but it throws lots of splashes of humor. A lot of the action-adventure titles don't really do a lot of that, but Uncharted has a great comedic effect to it. That's what I think makes this game so charming. One thing that really helps these performances and the characters themselves are the performances. Nolan North plays Nathan Drake, and I have huge respect for Nolan North. He is one of my favorite voice actors in gaming, and he does a fantastic job as Nathan Drake. He's so charming, funny, charismatic, and he just knows when to really break it down and get serious when he needs to. And it just is a really great performance, and everyone else does a really great job, too, with the people who play Elena and Sullivan. They do just such a great job that really brings these characters to life, that really takes the writing that's already really great and just kind of takes it to the next level. They're just very amazing characters that I really caught on to right from the beginning and I was invested in the characters and I really just caught on to them and was really into their story and what they had going on and I was cheering for them the whole time I never once was like that was a really bad character the bad guys themselves are fine I didn't really too care much about the bad guys but they don't really get a whole lot of screen time because this story is Nathan's story and his adventure so I really loved the story of this game. It wasn't anything too like new or crazy, but it had a really good tone and pace to it, and it's really helped by the characters. I think the characters were just what really defined this story. This game would be nothing if these characters weren't as awesome as they were. So thanks to the awesome performances, the great writing, and the characters themselves, and the performances, everything just really comes together based around these characters. The gameplay of Uncharted follows basic action-adventure platforming. Think a lot like Tomb Raider. It plays very, very similar to the Tomb Raider games. You have adventure, exploring, action, combat, things like that that are really action-adventure. And it, I like this gameplay. It has a really great pace of the exploration is very kind of just slow and methodical, but still really entertaining. And then the shooting and the action sequences are high high octane fast paced and they're really entertaining and this game does that too it has really great pace of exploration puzzle solving action exploring adventure things like that that are really great that makes this genre something that i really really enjoy kind of similar to my uh, tomb raider reviews i'm going to kind of break them down section by section talk about the exploration puzzle solving and combat so first the exploration uncharted's exploration is really really well done i thought it had a great pace of like not knowing exactly where to go. And that's one thing I did really appreciate about Uncharted compared to Tomb Raider. Is Tomb Raider, your path was pretty obvious, but there was a few parts in Uncharted where you really had to look around and find where you had to go. Well, for the most part, it is pretty straightforward. There were occasional moments where I had to really stop, look around, and observe the environment and see what I could latch onto. And this is also helped by Nathan Drake's body language. He'll like reach out to cliffs that he can reach and where you're kind of supposed to go. And this was really helpful as it kind of knew what jumps were safe to make, which ones weren't. The puzzle solving in Uncharted is pretty straightforward. Very rarely did I get in a puzzle that I was just like, I have no clue what to do. This has really helped as Nathan has a little like diary or a map he can look at to kind of help him give him hints. And a lot of these hints are pretty straightforward. I very rarely struggle with the puzzles, so I would certainly like to see the puzzle solving be a little bit more complex, but it was really straightforward and it still felt really rewarding when I solved the puzzles. The shooting mechanics of Uncharted is pretty generic third person shooting. You have cover taking, you have over the shoulder aiming, you also have a basic pretty simple complex or it's pretty simple uh, button mashing and melee system that you can use to get ammo drops and you can also perform like a brutal combo that gives you double ammo so there certainly is other options than shooting but shooting is going to be your best friend because headshots are so freaking easy in this game it really made me feel like a sharpshooter it was just like pew, 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 and it just was like it was really cool it felt really good gameplay wise it really didn't add a whole lot of tension when I was just nailing them one after another but like myself wise it was like this is pretty cool like i feel like a sharpshooter i would doubt nathan drake is like that 
good of a sharpshooter but in this game it just was like really easy and i think a lot of it this was helped by the ai the ai wasn't too terribly smart a lot of the times they'd be like in cover and like just barely their head be poking up i had this complaint with tomb raider as well i remember this was like one of my biggest complaints about tomb raider but i would actually say that uncharted handles it a little bit better as these guys manage to pull off cool tactics they'll take cover when they need to throw grenades and they'll even flank you but occasionally you get some really wacky ones where they'll come out of cover and they're just like ah and they're like panicking and shooting all over and they completely miss and then it just kind of lines them up for an easy shot it's kind of weird, but it kind of made sense because I had really taken out a lot of their friends that he was probably really nervous, which he should be. I like to think of it as our best friend from Pulp Fiction who comes out of the bathroom and shoots at Jules and Vince. It just it doesn't work. And the same, it's, it's basically the same thing here. They're just aiming like they don't even care what they hit. They're just shooting. And if it hits something, great. But very rarely did it hit. And it was kind of silly, but it was just kind of a weird tactic that I was just like, I, I don't know what the point is there. It very rarely hit me, and I think even one time I was just standing there, and this guy was just like, ah! And he, he missed every single shot. It was weird. It, it was straight up Pulp Fiction. Outside of the straightforward just shooting sections, there were a few, few vehicle sections. I actually didn't mind these. They were actually kind of fun, faster change of pace. The, there's one where you're in, like in the back of a car, and you have like a cool mounted turret, and that can fire grenades. That part was really, really cool. It was a really fun change of pace, and it was just really exciting. Later on, there is one with a jet ski that is a tad bit annoying, but I didn't find it that big of a problem, as I've heard other people complain about it a lot before. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought the jet ski section was actually pretty fun, and it was a fun, different thing that was just different. Graphically, this game looks pretty good. I played the remastered PS4 version, so it had up graphics from the PlayStation 3, and I, this so this is the version I'm looking at as the PS4 version. And I really like the graphics. They definitely look really, really nice. The environments are really well done. Dark, creepy caves are really dark and creepy. Lush jungles are very lush and green, and it's really cool. And cool cliff sides, or even, like, temples or churches, things like that, like, climbing across are really cool, rocky, and awesome environments that I really, really enjoyed exploring. The characters the models themselves sometimes looked a little cartoony a little blocky which was fine this game is like 14 years old 13 so like it kind of made sense but the biggest thing with the character models that killed me is like their eyes like glowed like hardcore it was really creepy at some points i don't know if it was just some like lighting effect or something that just had like a weird effect on the eyes but the eyes were like super glowing it was kind of intimidating sometimes technically i rarely had any problems i can't even think of any problems occasionally the ai would be a little weird and sometimes you'd like nail like a really awesome headshot and their bodies would just be a <laughs> It just was like kind of like a balloon getting deflated. It just was kind of like weird things like that, but it, it really didn't bother me all that much. It actually kind of made it more cartoony and more fun. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, he's dead. It was just like, Pfft. it was funny. I, it didn't bother me at all. And so that was like technically like the biggest thing that I noticed. I was like, eh, it looks a little unpolished, but it's kind of fun. One thing that I really, really enjoyed about Uncharted is the music. As soon as you started up, you hear the Uncharted theme just kick up and you're just like, oh. So good, it's so heroic and so adventurous. It just really adds a great tone to this already amazing game that has already great tone and pace and just the music really elevates it. It needs to be dark and spooky when dark and spooky things are going on. And it feels very adventurous when things that are adventurous are going on. And action is very fast and quick. Just overall, the soundtrack was really phenomenal, but that Uncharted theme is just stuck in my head all the time, but it's so good and so well done. So good job on the music. In the end, I really loved Drake's Fortune. It was a great start to this Uncharted franchise and I love revisiting it. It's really not a long game. It took me like four hours, if that. It really isn't that long of a game. So just sit down and knock it out in one day or like a weekend, things like that. If you're really thorough and like look for all the treasure or spend time just like really being thorough and like exploring every single corner, it might take a little bit longer. But all in all, this game's really not that long. So getting it in the Uncharted package of the first three games is a great way to go. It's a great price for value because then you still have two more games to play which I would argue are better, but we'll talk about those coming up. I have major respect for Nolan North and his performance as Nathan Drake is one of my favorites. He's just so charming and charismatic and all these other characters are just as awesome. It's all really well done. The story was awesome. The characters are just really what makes this game shine. If the, this game didn't have the characters that it has, I feel like this game wouldn't really be anything too special. But Amy Henning is a great director. Nolan North is a great performer. All the every, Everyone else just did a really great job. The writing, everything's just so well done. This is a really great experience. It's not a very long experience, but it's very enjoyable from start to, start to finish. If you like action adventure games, if you like Tomb Raider, if you like Indiana Jones, check out Uncharted. You're going to love it. It's really great. If you're looking for just a fun just game in general, I would highly recommend you check out Uncharted. At least check it out. See if it's something you like and then continue the series. But speaking of what's the rest of the series, I will be reviewing all the Uncharted games here except for all the spinoffs. So the main four games, I will be reviewing those. So look forward to that here on A Game for Your Thoughts. So thank you guys so much for watching my review for Uncharted. I hope you liked it and I hope you enjoy it. So if you want to check out more stuff, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. So thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on A Game for Your Thoughts.